welcome to Petrol Heads London, and I'm in the Audi A3 1.6 TDI. Now, if you haven't seen some of my videos before, what I like to do is these little quick love and hates. Top five and bottom five, they don't always add up to five. Uh, so, but the idea is just to kind of give you a quick view of what I think about this car. Now, if you haven't watched my review, then I think maybe I feel I've been positively negative about this car. Um, and I think that's slightly unjust. Let's start with the things I hate because I think that's something I can reel off quite quickly. And the first one is probably this gearbox. I just don't think it works with the engine. It just doesn't seem to have the power at the right times and at the right place when you need it. And for me, well, that's quite fundamental to how the car works. The other one is what it's like when you start off. I'm doing a little bit of slow driving around here at the moment, but when you go to pull out of a side road or start off, it's really gutless. And it's not a bad engine, this, but it just doesn't have the power delivery and it just doesn't have the, you struggle to commit. And so for me, that's kind of my number two. Number three, well, that's what I have a problem with a lot of these cars is well, I'm just demonstrating some of its pickup. See, look, when it starts off and goes, it's actually all right. And actually around town when you're off and moving, it's a pretty damn good car. It's just that that starting off bit really is quite poor. So my next negative is interior. It's quite plasticky. It's very focused around the driver in terms of the design they've done. And so therefore, the rest of the interior is just, well, well it's bland. It's really nondescript. What else have I got that I don't like about this car? Do you know what? I think that's probably it. Oh, this one, the wheels, but that's a speckable option. 16 inch alloys. They just look a bit rubbish. We all know that you want bigger alloys, but the plus side is really smooth ride. So let's start off with my positives. Number one, it's really nice to drive. It's easy to drive and ride in. It's got a smooth ride, sits well on a motorway. No complaints, bar the stuff I had obviously in my negative. So yeah, it's a nice smooth drive. Next one, the driver's view. This cockpit is really nice. It's super comfortable great display uh, dashboard really well laid out super bright and there's a lot of few other things so I'll throw this in as a sort of like what well, I can't remember what number I am two and a half is that it's got some nice little features like I just went to an underground car park and the cup holders light up now I can't show you on camera because it doesn't seem to quite adjust very well with the light but there's a little like white ring around the cup holders I think that's pretty good oh and Audi have put the cup holders at the front unlike all the other ones where the armrest gets in the way of them and you can't fit your cup of coffee in it another positive the stereo really really good this isn't an upgraded stereo in here it's just a bog standard stereo that comes with the SE it's really good that's all I can say it doesn't vibrate or anything it goes quite loud the bass is quite good on it the next one off the back of that is this infotainment system. So this little thing that pops up and down out the dashboard looks really nice. Do you know what? It looks better than the rest of the dashboard. I think that's the problem. It really shows it up. It's, you know, like a sparkly bit on some rather dull plastic. But nice interface, really good to use. The only downside for me was actually trying to pair my phone uh, was, uh, well, like trying to launch a rocket into space. It was pretty damn challenging space it's got a lot of space in this car so this is a positive and a negative in the front it's really comfortable took a bit of adjusting to get it right as you kind of felt like you were a bit long and stretched out the back however i'm not particularly tall but you wouldn't want to be an adult passenger in the back here for too long it's not all that comfortable design is my final one i think audis look really nice i don't think this one's anything special um, I think they're going through sort of slightly harsher lines in terms of their design, but it's a nice looking car. Um, you're not going to get looked at driving up and down the King's Road, but that's not what this car's about. It's got a big ample boot, loads of other sort of things like split seats, rear seats. Overall, it's a good car. 
So I think, for me, the positives outweigh the negatives. I think you could spec those out with the right engine and the right gearbox. Go manual and see what that's like on this car. Thank you for watching Petrol Heads London. Please remember to watch my full review of this car. Please remember to like and subscribe for lots more videos to come. Cheers.